it's really St. Patty's Day, and it's not about the green, and I mean totally freaking green, and it's all about the money. Guess what? You full of shit. You full of shit, and the good doctor. Bitch. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Hello. Good afternoon. This is a special presentation, and it'll be a private presentation for my friend, my new friend, Veronica in the Philippines. And for Devon in Brooklyn, New York. Let me show you all what the crib looked like. Look, I spent over four years in homelessness. I spent over six and a half years in court, or five and a half to prevent the homelessness. A total of about 12 years. So we can just calculate from the losses of the business that was filed, that's over six million dollars. Because this was a 10 million market million dollar market research study that I brought here from another country called Canada. I don't see anybody else go to other countries speak that language. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm French. So, but since I'm not Spanish and I'm not African American that's an American citizen, I get discriminated against in this country. But that's all right, that's all right. Because this is for just you, my friends. Hey, Devin, go get the bishop, go get Israel, go get Lana, go get her son, and go get all the girls in that office because everybody thought I was a piece of crap. Hi, Veronica. Thank you for being so nice to me. Watch this. Isn't that a nice view? That's the bear on bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm an American veteran. And uh, I'm also an immigrant. And uh, you can read that, right? I hope so. I'm actually a Haitian national who's on my way to Canada on better country for my skin color after spending years in homelessness. This is what the bedroom looks like. It's about the untold story of slavery in New York because of the Jews. I don't do too much business with them anymore because they seem to think a Negro is supposed to like have it hard out there all the time. I made a mistake saving that old lady's life because New York City Housing Authority retaliated against me for exposing elder abuse as another story, housing whistleblower retaliated against. And I made a documentary about it and I aired it on TV when Mayor Bloomberg was running for office while I was working in his office <laughs> as a volunteer. <laughs> I wanted to show that singing We Shall Overcome don't get your black behind nowhere. You gotta take it. Because praying for it ain't working. Wow, look at that, huh? I'm very comfortable, very comfortable. And I actually got to get on this ottoman to actually get up on there. Because the bed is just so high, it's beautiful. I got my toys right here because I like to go flying. These are my documentaries that I be airing on TV. That's just one of them trophies. I go from the little ones all the way to the big ones. I can fly it all. You saw in the newspaper article that they didn't let me go to one officer flight school. Well, you know, that's just a darn shame because I can fly on my own. <laughs> I don't know what they talk about. I don't know what they talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and like, right after I'm finished with this, you know, kind of like living a little bit better because I had over a hundred thousand dollars worth of antiques and heirlooms taken from my home and this is my documentary that just aired on TV Saturday morning which is yesterday all over Staten Island and it's just a beautiful thing what I'm able to do with my skills you know what I'm saying and this is called lies by Obama and Cuomo to get in the White House lies 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 Let's go to the Clinton administration admitting their role in affirmative action that causes subprime. There goes the quote. Always that I 
obvious, sometimes more subtle. I don't do them Democrats. Now let's go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a corporate executive that got plenty of suits in my wardrobe. I don't have to be running to Lana for ten dollars after I'm running all over town for Israel. What the hell is that about? That's because I got played for a sucker and I was taken advantage of. Why? I'm 58 years old and I look this good. Huh. Winners stand alone, Devlin. Because I'm the early bird to get the snake and I'm radioactive to dumbass motherfuckers. All right, everybody. See that? Yeah, baby. $10 million market research deal destroyed. I could have been saving lives. But hey, I don't have a problem with Americans killing Americans. <laughs> I'm an Asian. What do I give a shit? America destroyed my country, destroyed my future, not once, but regularly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I put my stuff in the pressure cooker first. Then I'm going to skin it and debone it. And I'm going to work it. Yeah, baby. You know, I'm living great. I mean, I got, you know, I'm like, I'm like got too much. I just got too freaking much. But they ain't never going to be freaking enough. Never enough. It ain't never enough. Bishop, greed is good. Greed is good. You ought to tell Devlin to go in the army. Have him go kill some Taliban so he can come back. See, my aunt was a nun. I went in the army to kill communists. See, Devlin, you got to get jobs like this for these big companies. Because, you know, like working for a little company, you don't get far too quick. And I've been fighting for black people for the longest. That's me at the reparations rally. Yeah, yeah. That's the black national flag company. All right. But the bottom line is I don't need to get into all that with y'all. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. White reparations, white reparations for black people. Devin, if you think education is expensive, my friend, you can say in that ignorance, but I ain't going good for you. You got to do this. Get you a couple of these, my friend, because you got to like go kill people. Devlin, you got to go get the Taliban. See, I'm all over the newspapers, magazines, all of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I was born rich in an aristocracy family in Haiti. And they tried to make me another black nigga like them other motherfuckers in this country. You know what I got to say to that devil? Back bitch, back to the bitch. Now see, this is the bar right here, devil. Yeah, baby. Then we step right over here and play strip pool with the ladies. That's right. <laughs> strip pool with the ladies, bathroom, everything is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Hmm? There goes the good doctor. Young as a motherfucker, right? So all them old men you hanging out with, I'm old man. That's the Charlene. <laughs> okay, this is the office right here. But before we go in the office, that's my lucky charm right there. You know what we want to do, Devlin? You got to get into sports, man. You got to get you in some sports there, brother. Yeah. Throw somebody up on there, Devlin. You macking something there, brother. Get my point? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you got to get you into some sports. A little golf is good for you. All right? Hmm? That's what I'm talking about, brother. That's what you call a hole in one. You gotta bust that hole. You know what I'm saying? Understand that, brother? Huh, Devlin? I'm trying to work with you, man. I'm trying to bring some light to you. Yeah. <laughs> huh? How you like my decorating, huh? Nice. After yet. I only been here nine months. 
Imagine two years from now, from that year and a half from now. See, this is the office. This is the captured flag of the Yiddish administration of Michael R. Bloomberg, which is a Jew that hired a Puerto Rican to railroad black niggers out of public housing. So that means that Puerto Rican will railroad his own colored kind, but he thought he was better than somebody. That's why I got his monkey ass fired in 2008 when I won the judgment. Then little Ricky Ricardo Morales, another Puerto Rican, that's railroad Negro, the general counsel, they made him chairman, and I won another judgment in 2009 and just busted his ass. And in 2010, hey! face John Berea face to face and you can see that on my timeline how to embarrass a commissioner of housing and I embarrassed him in front of Obama that's right see I got everybody's file right here these are my plants these are my ladies yeah baby huh yeah let me give you a nice view and bang that's what I'm talking about yeah, baby. And then I go right out there on the roof and chill. <laughs> and I also play golf out there, do some driving. A little bit too cold to go out there right now. But this is the breath test of life. You know what I'm saying? So, do you think I got time to be running my ass off all over New York City with my money, considering I only get like about $2,000 a month running around taking care of somebody else's business. I'm writing stuff up. I'm doing all kinds of shit. <coughs> and I'm getting smoke blown up my ass, getting exploited. So, now that you done seen this, you know not to show them old people that shit, right, Devin? But now I can't even show that to my, my girls. I got a few ladies. I showed you the pictures. Mm -hmm. But I got one main one. Nice! Why are you like me now? Do I look like the kind of man that's going to let myself get exploited? Like I'm a piece of shit. This is me at the appellate division of New York State Supreme Court kicking fucking ass. And I got huh, the Attorney General's office court writing asking April Ann Agostino of the appellate court docket number 2013 07504. I got Donna Fury fired on the motion to dismiss that was denied because she was an auxiliary officer in an incapacitated hearing to make me out to be crazy. And they took $100,000 of antiques and heirlooms out of my home. This is article to the constitution right there. And that's the constitution of the United States. And these things are worth over $50,000. Now, what in the fuck am I doing working, slaving for some guy? You say you're my friend. You send me all kind of fucking errands to go fucking get $10 from fucking honor in your office. And all these little freaking broads running around the little paralegal. They ain't shit. They ain't nobody. And then they ridiculed me, laughed at me. As if I was an equal piece of shit. All right, then. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Wow. Sure feels good not looking at motherfuckers that despise me. Thank you for being my friend. And I hope you gave all of them the newspaper so they can see we're not in the same fucking class, not in the same goddamn league in the small fall. How you like me? I told you I was a good performer, great actor, man. So, oh, this is my ventilation video. So how you doing, Devlin?
Bring the babes over. Get kiss us for them. I salute you. Bye-bye.